Okay, so I need to talk about something. Okay, sit down. Tell me about it. I don't know. So just as Mr. Powell's just been gone, and it's just been so tough, and how it just hasn't been the same without him. Well, it seems like you'll be going through some grief. If you look behind me, you can see the stages of grief as a guidance tool or something to help you. As you're dealing with grief, you'll be going through five stages. This is to help minimize the emotional impact of your loss. First, denial. This is to help minimize the emotional impact of your loss. After this, you'll be dealing with anger due to extreme emotional discomfort, and you will start bargaining, trying to do anything to reduce your pain. Then, you will lose all hope and you'll start spiraling into an abyss of darkness and depression. And it will start getting worse and worse until you can't stand it anymore. Then you'll have acceptance and everything will be all happy again. Guys, guess what? Mr. Paul is here! No, 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 no! My cuddle buddy's gone! What? what? Mr. Powell is gone! What? No! no! Oh, no. no! Guys, 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 guys! Calm down. Because I have a plan. Mr. Powell is held in an ultra-secure, high-tech facility. The Portables. To successfully extract Mr. Powell from room 501, we're gonna need a team of four people. First, the leader. Me. Next, we need a hack. We also will need some muscle. No, 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 not them. Him. And finally, we are going to need some bait. First, the hacker will hack in and disable the enemy's Wi-Fi. Next, we will need the bait to lure away as many guards as possible. Then the muscle will come in and take out the remaining guard. What are you doing here? I'm here to take you out. To dinner? Finally, it's up to me to infiltrate the portables and enter room 501. In there, we will find Mr. Powell suspended above a shredder. Oh. And also, there's a laser security system that triggers this failsafe that will shred Mr. Powell. The only way to stop it is by pressing the release button. Well, you could have told me that earlier!
Oh, that's a great idea. We've never done that before. Right? Hi, welcome to the Mr. Pal auditions. Um, I'm happy to see all y'all here and let's get started. You may have technical dispensation to make use of the lavatorial facilities. Mr. Shaw, tuck in the back left quadrant of your shirt. All of these notes are going to be on the exam, and I will not grade them until next year. Hi, uh, I thought I would be great to be Mr. Powell because um, I, our like first names are the same, and uh, uh, we're both men, so you know, I guess. Uh, who's Mr. Powell? Hello, I'm Mr. Cyrus Hyatt, and I'm auditioning to be Mr. Powell. Powell audition take two. Hi, I'm Mr. Powell, auditioning as Mr. Powell. I believe the House of Luther should adopt an authoritarian structure, that we should weed out democratic values throughout the school, and then crush all the other houses. So, Daniel, how have the auditions have been going? And... I don't even know. It's like they don't even know how to act. At this rate, we'll never be able to recover. Grief can be a profound, meaningful experience. One which requires space and care and flannel pajamas to overcome. <laughs> but you two twerps don't have time for any of that. So I suggest you get over it, you miserable miscreants. That was just incredible. Like, How can someone even think like that? Yeah, it was just, just so, so deep. Hey, I think you'll find this resume interesting. Okay. Gathered together to remember our beloved Mr. Powell. How he was always there for us when we needed. How we never backed out from a challenge. And now he was the best house advisor we could ever ask for. He will be missed. Thank you, gentlemen. I couldn't have done it without.